Hey guys, Mike here. Got a quick little tactics brain teaser for you. So given this situation, where would you move these remaining units? All right, so I can tell you what I did. I have laps in this bush here. I have Jade here to take enemy attacks on enemy base. And they're the only two threatened by these two armors. And then I decided to move Alir in this bush here so she can hopefully take attacks from and these guys and hopefully do enemy phase damage and so the question is where do you move these units all right i'm you can feel free to pause the video and think about it and uh in a couple seconds i will tell you where i would move these units okay so i would move these units right here in this little 3 by 12 area right here and the reason i would do that is because i don't I don't want to move more units in enemy range because I want Alir to take all the attacks and do enemy phase damage. And if I move like Rosado here, for example, there's a chance that these enemies might go for Rosado instead, which is not what I want. And I want them to attack Alir. Uh, same, the same principle applies here. There's no need to move units here when I want to just, you know, I already want Lapis and Jade to take those attacks. So there's no need to move them here. And there, uh, so I would move these units basically in the square here, like this. Because if they're in, sitting in here, then that allows me to attack these units. I, I, I basically have my pick of who I, I want to attack these units with um, on the next player phase, right? And the nice thing about them being here is that these units sitting here can either go south, or, or sorry, west, and attack these berserkers, or they can go up north if needed to attack these armors, right? And uh, that's, you know, that's good because you have options, right? Whereas if I committed units directly west or directly north, then it's, it's going to be hard for me to flex and I don't have as much options here. Now, you could make the, um, the argument that, well, hey, you know, if there's like a, a thief or a, a village here that I'm really trying to prioritize and get here quickly, which there isn't on this map, but I'm just saying hypothetically, then you could make the argument for moving uh, your units in enemy range so that you can maximize your advancement toward that side objective. That, that's one argument you can make. Um, and, and actually that is the case sometimes in a lot of uh, later game chapter maps where you really do have to put the pedal to the metal and actually start taking risks on enemy phase. And it's not a, a true risk if you know you're gonna survive. Like if I put Tamara here, I know she's gonna take one attack. So this guy's 45 attack, she has 19 defense, so about 25, 24, 24 attack, and she has 37 HP and she's not getting doubled, then she's gonna survive, right? Even if I stick her. So then you could make that argument to put like Tamara here. If, again, like I said, if there is a time sensitive objective on the side here, that you need to make sure your units are still advancing even in the threat of enemy range, right? But because that is not the case for this map, like I said, I would just move these units here and then on the next player phase, I'm just going to just take them out. So let's actually just try that right now and see what happens. Uh, let's move Citrine over here. Because Citrine can attack both these guys and these guys, right? So I, I kind of want her right in the middle. Uh, Alfred will do nothing against those armor, so it's probably more better that way. Uh, Tamara, I don't know, just go here. Same thing with uh, Sailing, she can attack both. Ram here. No need to dance, Let's see what happens here. This is what I would consider an excellent enemy phase. 
I did significant damage on these Berserkers so that they can, any unit can really just pick them off. Even Tamara, who is probably not my ideal unit right now, she had picked that guy off uh, in, in a very efficient one attack. Like I don't have to spend two units attacking this guy. I don't have to spend two units attacking this guy. These armors are totally out of position now, these enemy armors. I could just hit them with Clan and Canner out of the way. Um, I actually do want Clan to take Briss's warp attack, so we can see what happens there. But as you can see, this is this is this, that was a really good enemy phase, and we're totally ready for this player phase. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and thanks for watching.